Hey everyone, so if you haven't heard, a bunch of students at Michigan State University are encouraging racism, discrimination, and segregation all over again. And they're handing out free masks to minority students. Of course, they think that they're super progressive and they're doing something revolutionary. And in reality, they're just a bunch of fools who are so blind to their own ignorance that they don't realize that they are the problem. So before I get to the article, I just wanna say it's really racist to assume that all minorities need free handouts. It's very racist to assume that all minorities can't make it in this country. It's very racist to assume that all minorities are the same. You guys are the problem in society because you guys have this racist lens that views people as group identities rather than individuality. So the article is titled, Student at Michigan State University Hands Out Masks for Minorities Only. It reads, A student at Michigan State University hosted an experiment where she handed out free masks and gloves to minority students and charged white people $10 for the same medical supplies. The student, who uses the Twitter handle IMeAnna, set up a table outside a cafeteria with the sign that read, Free masks and gloves for minorities only. $10 per item for white people. She claimed that the project was a social experiment, according to a report from a student-run publication, The Morning Watch. I have a very obnoxious project. So what I'm about to tweet is strictly for project as a form of documentation. The student tweeted on October 26th, It is fake. Please don't report it because it is a form of tactical media and I also don't want to get expelled for discrimination. The student went on to explain that the point of her project was to demonstrate how minorities and disabled persons have been negatively impacted by the pandemic versus other groups. I wanted to reverse the privilege and show how it feels to be discriminated against based on skin color and disability, she tweeted. This is her tweet. So the point of this project is to demonstrate how minorities and disabled persons have been negatively impacted by the pandemic versus other groups. I wanted to reverse the privilege and show how it feels to be discriminated against based off skin or disability. Now you notice with these people who are completely brainless, they never explain why. Like she's not explaining how minorities were discriminated against during the pandemic. They never explain themselves. They just do things like this and then are never questioned and they get away with it and their ego continues to grow and grow and grow. The undergraduate student told the Daily Caller that the experiment for a class entitled Experimental Design Practices According to the student, she was asking the question, how has the pandemic affected minorities and disabled persons and how can we remedy these effects? So <laughs> this is her logic. She assumes that minorities were affected differently than other people. And so her response <laughs> is to give out free masks and gloves to minorities. There's no data, there's no logic behind that at all. There's no proof. She's not supporting her argument whatsoever. She's just doing something really stupid and discriminating. Anyway, apparently her table was shut down by Michigan State University, but I will say there have been a lot of segregation and discrimination from Michigan State University and Michigan University. I've covered some of the segregation in my past videos, how they've had a cafeteria where it's BIPOC people and then whites only. This isn't new, and so we do have to keep covering this because it's unbelievable that these people want to bring racism, discrimination, and segregation back, and they're so brainwashed that they think that they're the solution rather than the problem. Again, stop assuming that all minorities are the same. That's racist. Stop assuming that all white people are the same. That's racist. 
Go off of content of character, not skin color. The only people that are the problem in America are the ones that are obsessed with skin color and judge people based off skin color, economic status, and political affiliation. You guys are the problem. There's a major difference between Americans who are living their life every day, minding their own business, doing what they can to raise their family, put food on the table, put a roof over their family's head, work hard to succeed in life, and then people who are just completely obsessed with skin color, political affiliation, religion, or economic status. Mind your own business. Do you. Because in 20 years, you're still gonna be the same miserable person and everybody else is gonna be off succeeding in life. Honestly, the only hate that I ever hear comes from liberals, leftists, and Democrats. Like, I've been around Democrats who have literally said they don't want to be at a party because there's too many white people there. Even though all of these people are so nice, they're so generous, they're so willing, but this person was just like so confident saying it. They just, they felt so empowered to be racist and they think that they're the solution, not the problem. The only hate that I ever hear comes from one side. It's always them assuming things about Trump supporters or Republicans. It's always them making really nasty comments that are based on assumption about Trump supporters and Republicans. And while they're saying it, they truly believe that they are the solution rather than the problem. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Please like this video, share it, subscribe, and have a beautiful day.